What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. Thanks for coming out. Today I'm smoking up a bacon cheeseburger pizza. All right, all right, all right. I am very excited for this cook today because I love pizza off the smoker. And I've been messing around with a bunch of different toppings and recipes, and let me tell you what, there ain't nothing like a bacon cheeseburger pizza. So I have here five strips of bacon and about a half a pound, three quarters of a pound of ground chuck 80-20. So of course I wanna smoke the meat before we put all of our ingredients on the dough and then smoke the pizza. And I also have my pound of dough resting because it's been in the fridge and it's gonna need to sit out at room temp for about two hours. If you try to form your pizza dough when it's cold, it's just gonna suck right back in and it's not gonna work. It's been sitting out for about one hour right now. It's got another hour to go, and that's the perfect amount of time to get our beef and bacon in the smoker. So I'm not doing anything to the bacon. I'm leaving it as is, but we still want to season up our beef. So I have here some primetime buttery beef rub for PS seasoning. It's gonna get a little bit on our beef. A few little good shakes. Mix it all together. Say that'll about do it. And then what we're gonna do is break our beef in half and form them into burgers. Just like we were gonna smoke burgers normally. It's about good, they don't gotta be too thick. Do your other one as well, and that looks pretty good. And that is all there is to it for the prep for our beef and our bacon. Let's go pop them on the smoker. All right, y'all, we're out here at the Gorilla Grill Silverback. We got it going at 225 degrees. I'm filling up the hopper with some hickory pellets from Bear Mountain Barbecue to fuel up this cook. We're just letting our beef and bacon smoke for one hour. Remember, we're taking out our meat and fixing it on a pizza, then putting it back in the smoker and cooking at a higher temp so we don't want to overcook our burgers and bacon at this step. At this time and temp, it'll cook our meat just enough to give it some good smoke flavor before we put it on our pizza. So stick around and in one hour, we'll head inside and put our pizza together. All right, so it's been one hour. Oh yeah, bacon's looking good. The burgers are looking good. Let's take a look at the temp of our burgers. Right at about 135 and that's really good. I wouldn't go anything above that. We can take these off. So now what we're gonna wanna do is crank up our silver back to 450 degrees. While we're doing that, we're gonna put our pizza stone right on the grill rack. Cause we want the pizza stone to come up to temp with the smoker. And once it reaches 450 degrees, we're gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes to really let that pizza stone get nice and hot. So that's a perfect amount of time to head inside right now and fix up our pizza. Yes, sir, this is where the real fun begins. So we have here all of the ingredients that we're putting on our cheeseburger pizza. I ain't sparing nothing. I got the lettuce, mater, onions, pickles, pizza sauce, cheese, the burgers, and the bacon. But first, before we get to any of that, we gotta shape out our dough. Again, it's been sitting at room temp for two hours. It's gonna be a lot easier to form into our nice pizza circle. Start. Get yourself some flour, rub it on your hands, rub it on your dough. Gonna make it a lot easier to handle your dough. Put this to the side. So first we're just gonna start folding in our dough. We wanna make sure we get all of the air bubbles out of our dough because if you have a lot of air bubbles in your dough, it's just gonna puff up and it's not gonna turn out very good. So just fold it in like so and press it down. You can even hear some of the air bubbles and see them popping out. And this is store-bought dough. If you have your own dough recipe, go for it. I don't know how to make pizza dough, so I just got store-bought. Really work in the dough. God, your hands get tired after a while. If you start to get sticky, get some more flour. 
It's like magic. Keep folding in your dough. That looks good. Now I can just shape it into a nice ball. Nice, and that doesn't look too shabby. Do the best that you can. And now you're gonna start making your pizza shape. And you're gonna push along the edges. And that's gonna make your crust. You just gotta keep going. Show this dough who's boss. This is my workout for the week. Once you have it into a decent circle shape like this, all I like to do is grab it by the edges to help stretch it out. Keep working, you're almost at the home stretch, nice full of flour. You can even use the knuckle method. Get your knuckles in there, help spread that dough out, whatever works for you. And we're starting to get a nice circle pizza shape. It's looking really good. So now we're gonna get our pizza peel. Get a lot of flour on your peel. We're gonna build our pizza right on there. All right, perfect. We got a pretty good pizza shape. We're ready to put on our ingredients. We're gonna start, of course, with the pizza sauce. few good spoonfuls. We don't want to get our pizza too wet. That looks pretty good. Perfect. But that's not the end to our sauce. This is a cheeseburger pizza. We got to get a little bit of mustard. Just a couple good squirts. And ketchup. Get that spoon. Rub that in with your sauce. That's a cheeseburger pizza sauce right there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So now to this, we're gonna add just a little bit, a good sprinkle, mozzarella cheese. Cause it's pizza, you gotta have mozzarella cheese. Some nice dusting. Now you can get a burger meat. Oh yeah, just go right in there. Crinkle it up, put it on. Spread it all out. We wanna make sure we got some burger everywhere. You don't need too much more, but I am breaking off a little bit more on our second burger. Save that one for a snack. Snacks. All right, now we got some of our bacon. Break it up, put it on. Put however much bacon, burgers you want. We got about three strips I went through here. Mmm, look at all our bacon. Now we got some onions. Some maters, just a couple. And the best part, pickles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All them dill pickles. Top it off with a little bit, just a little bit of lettuce. And then of course, cheddar cheese. Golly! And for good measure, of course, let's add a little bit more. A little bit more burger. A little bit more bacon. Another onion. A couple more pickles. A little bit more cheese. And y'all, I would say that looks like a bomb bacon cheeseburger pizza. We are ready. Let's go pop it in the smoker. All right, we've been rolling at 450. Our stone's nice and hot. Before we put our pizza on, we're just going to get a good coat of cornmeal. It's going to help our pizza from sticking to the stone. Go get our pizza. Just like that. Stretch it out a little bit. That's okay. Close it up. We're only going to want to cook and smoke our pizza for about 20 minutes. So keep an eye on it and make sure you don't overdo it or underdo it. And in 20 minutes, we'll pull it and eat.
And with that, our smoked bacon cheeseburger pizza is complete. I don't know how much better this could have turned out. This came out perfect. A good crisp crust, great color and smoke on our pizza with that burger and our bacon. My mouth is drooling. But before I cut into this pizza, even though it is calling my name, let's recap what we did a little bit. We put on some of that prime time buttery beef rub from PS Seasoning into our beef, formed it into patties, and then put the beef and the bacon into the smoker for one hour. Then we took them off the smoker, brought them inside, and put together all of our toppings for our smoked bacon cheeseburger pizza. We got that dough into a nice circle, some sauce, pickles, lettuce, tomato, onions, the beef, and the bacon. Added a little bit of ketchup and mustard into that pizza sauce because it's cheeseburger. Why not? We bumped up the silverback to 450. We put our pizza stone in at that time to let it preheat with our smoker. I smoked it for 25 minutes total. I said 20 minutes. I like it just a little bit more crispier. 25 minutes is prime. Topped it off with just a little bit of sesame seed. Give it that burger bun feeling. Put some sauce guru, bigger than Mac hamburger sauce on. Man, we are ready to eat. Get your pizza cutter. Oh yeah, go right through that crispy crust. Oh my goodness gracious. Blessed. One more slice. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that. That is a beautiful bacon cheeseburger pizza. Mm. Wow. Man, that deserves a pat on the back. That is just unbelievable. This is everything you would have in a cheeseburger. That nice crust, that beef and bacon, that ketchup and mustard in the sauce. Perfect. Don't be scared away from warm lettuce, pickles, and tomatoes. That's what makes it. It's literally making my mouth water. Mm. God. The pickles, man. The pickles. Mm. Pizza dough takes in that smoke really easy. So it's the perfect amount of time at that high temp in the smoker. You really do get a little kick of hickory in the crust, but it's even better on the beef and the bacon since we smoked it first. I mean, ugh, it's perfect. Ugh. Look, if you like making homemade pizzas, you like smoking pizzas, this right here, this is your next one. I have a whole pizza to go eat, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Get yourself some beef, some bacon, some lettuce, made or onion, pickles, ketchup, mustard, pizza sauce, cheese. Oh my God, sharp cheddar. It is perfect. You're going to love it. Stay tuned for the next video. Mmm. That cheeseburger pizza. <laughs>